now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures got up this afternoon into the upper teens and the lower 20s. A little warmer than yesterday, but still below the normal for this time of year. We should be around 25 for this time of year. Record high on this date was 50 back in 1914. And as we head into really the last couple of days, we're going to add just slightly, but we are quite cold this month. 37th coldest on record with a temperature running about five and a half degrees. We started off December warm. Now we're getting cold and it'll be interesting to see as we transition into February how things are going to continue. And the latest climate prediction center forecast is showing below average temperatures to continue as you head into February. Today was rather cloudy. There was a small peak of sunshine as you got into the afternoon filter sunshine, but then the clouds thickened once again and it's just been pretty much uh, an overcast dreary day out there. No snow, just a few flurries. We've got a quick little clippers moving across so with some light snowfall, but off towards the east coast, much powerful storm system ongoing from a strong nor'easter. You see the light snowfall that's currently in northeast Wisconsin starting to edge its way over Lake Michigan and impacting parts of the UP. Farther off to the east, this powerful mammoth nor'easter pounding the northeast quadrant of the country with with heavy snowfall rates upward two to as much as four inches an hour. You've got blizzard warnings from Boston up towards the coast of Maine and uh, quite impressive snowfall totals. Not measuring in the inches, but in the feet, four inches, uh, two, excuse me, two feet of snowfall in Bridgewater, Massachusetts, and uh, also other locations in New Jersey, Rhode Island, New York, all picking up between 20 to 24 inches of snowfall right along the shoreline. And interesting to see that just one storm picking up two feet of snowfall. Well, we in Northeast Wisconsin got around 29 inches of snowfall, and this is around 75 days. So just one storm, 24 inches close to what we've seen in the last 75 days across northeast Wisconsin. If you want to have a resemblance what they're dealing with off to the east coast, think of the blizzard we had here in 2018 in April. That's pretty much what they're dealing with off to the east. As we head into the rest of the evening hours, a few flurries on and off, maybe a couple light snow showers. Then we'll remain quiet as we head into the day for tomorrow. Mostly cloudy skies remaining with some mid and high level cloud cover. And then as we head into the day on Tuesday, pretty much similar. The only change though, Tuesday will be warmer. High temperatures getting up into the upper 30s. Now our focus point though, as you get into Tuesday night into Wednesday, there is a talk of a strong low pressure and heavy snowstorm that will impact somewhere across the Midwest. Right now it looks like down south into Indiana and Illinois missing northeast Wisconsin. 20 degrees outside feels like 9 with a sunset at 458. Temperatures are ranging from the mid teens in the Northwoods to the lower 20s across the Fox Valley and farther along the lakeshore areas with winds coming in out of the south at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Winds will start to teeter a little bit out of the west and northwest tonight as we start to drop down to about 10 under mostly cloudy skies. And then for tomorrow, we'll get up to about 25 with uh, mostly cloudy conditions. Once again, northwest winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures remaining in the teens as we head into the next couple of days after a big push of cold air. Highs right around 10 degrees as we had to get into the middle of the work week with another chance of snowfall maybe on Friday. But overall, nothing too significant in the future. Honestly, I'm just really happy to see those temperatures climbing up because it has been so cold the last couple of days. Um, I've pretty much just hibernated in my house. <laughs> so get out for one day and then hibernate some more. Yeah, you know what? I'll take it. One day's better than none. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Gino.